Welcome to New Horizons. This video is to help you understand the installation of the hydrogen generating system, start to finish. Once you get your package, everything is inside. Tubing, your drain, the wiring, Electrolyte, there's a third of a pound there that, that will last you more than a year. The reservoir and the generators themselves. The control chip. 50 amp shunt with a digital volt amp meter and all necessary hardware to do all the connections. Necessary tools, a wire stripper, also one that can crimp the ends on the, the connectors on the ends of these wires, a simple drill, just to make the mounting holes wherever you're going to put it into your vehicle and screwdriver Phillips and a flat just depending on what screws you use preferably I would suggest a tech screw they're self tapping and work very very well a pair of pliers if you need to make any little bends in the wire that's pretty much it, and you're ready to do the install. This is a 2005 Mercedes-Benz 240 C-Class. This is what we're going to install the hydrogen generating system into today. Now that we have the tubing for the gas and the water with electrolyte connected, we can now move on to connecting the electrical for the generators and it's easier to do this in some cases to pre-assemble and then feed it into the car you may find a different way of doing it but we find if you have plenty of space this is just much simpler to do just pre-assemble set it in place bolt everything down where these are going to be stationary and your reservoir up above so the water can flow into here, gas can rise up to this tube, and then into the engine. Okay, now that we have everything installed, generators are mounted down below the reservoir here. We now have the electrical relays right here battery is under this cover it's all connected the fuse breakers are in place everything is wired up just follow the diagram that's on the website bottom of the page information book it tells every detail how to install it this took about three and a half hours one wire goes into the fuse box you find a connection to where the key when it's on the whole system is activated. If the accessory is on, it's not operating. That's all it takes. 50 amp shunt for the, for the uh, digital amp meter, and you're ready to go. Simply put distilled water in here. Very small bit of uh, the electrolyte, the potassium hydroxide that comes with the kit. Start with your amps very low, about two, two and a half at the most and then kind of work your way up every hundred miles or so until you find that sweet spot where your system is actually making just the right amount of hydrogen for this vehicle. Now, a lot of people will make the mistake of adding way too much, making the amps way too high and then your mileage will actually decrease from before you even put the system on your car. 
a little bit at a time because the hydrogen will act as a catalyst for the lesser amount of fuel going into the car to burn at 100%. Thank you for watching.